Having a device connected with your Microsoft account makes it a lot easier to do certain tasks, including resetting your password. But what if you don't want your Microsoft to have a full control of your device? Hey guys, how's it going? This is George from TechLog.com and in this video I'm going to show you how to disconnect your Microsoft account or remove your device from your Microsoft account. So, let's get started. Okay, so first things first, you need to make sure that you have Wi-Fi connection with your device, which I am right now. And if you don't, just make sure to connect it. And once it's done, then just navigate to, type here to search input and type settings. And from here, you need to go to accounts. And here, go to email and accounts. And you should see your Microsoft account right here. And if you click on it, you should see a manage button on the bottom right. But you may also see a remove button as well. If you do, then just click on the remove button. But if you don't, just click on manage button. And this is going to take you on uh, your Microsoft account. And you may need to put your credentials in order to log in. And once you do that, then go to devices. You may need to enter your password. Okay, it may take you. All right, there you go. And from here, you should see all the devices which are connected with your Microsoft account. And as you can see, my device is also listed right here. To remove it, you need to go to these vertical three dots and select remove laptop. Click on I'm ready to remove this laptop and then select remove. Select OK. And congratulations, your device is completely removed with your Microsoft account. But what if you want to add a new device? What if you want to reconnect your current device with your Microsoft account? And this is extremely easy as well. To do that, you need to go to Add Device, select Add PC, or maybe if you want to add another device, including an Xbox, a Surface, or a phone, you choose those. But in my case, I want to add my PC back to Microsoft because it will be a lot easier if I forget my password. And then I'm going to click on Next. And the only Microsoft operating system, Windows 10, click on Next. And then it's going to show you some instructions of what you need to follow next. So let's go ahead and do that. We're just going to minimize uh, Microsoft Edge and going back to settings. Oh, it's actually over here. Um, let's go back to home and then I'm going to put it on side by side. There we go. Nice and organized. And from here, you need to go to accounts, your info. And from here, you'll either see sign in with a Microsoft account instead, or you may see sign in with a local account instead. And the reason why I'm seeing sign in with a local account instead is because my Windows 10 device does recognize that is not connected with Microsoft. So what do you have to do if you fall in this case, you have to go ahead and create a local account. And a local account is exactly the same as you used to do with Windows 7 or Windows XP. You have like your username, you put your password once you uh, boot up your PC and then you're in Windows uh, XP or 7. And it was that simple, no involvement with Microsoft and signing into Microsoft accounts. So let's go ahead and do this and select next. You may need to enter your pin, you need to, or you may have to enter your Microsoft email password so you can, you know, proceed. And this step, you need to enter a new password for your local account, which you're going to be creating. And please take a note of this password because you're going to need it later on when you connect your device to your Microsoft account. Okay, then select next and then click on sign out and finish. If you do this, then you're going to sign out of Windows 10 and then you're going to have to log in again so you can follow what you have to do next. All right, guys, back in the game. And here, if we go back to settings, uh, Microsoft and your info, you should see sign in with a Microsoft account instead. So we should see the option that we want to go through. So select that. And then type your Microsoft email. Enter your password if you need to. And here you need to enter your local account password. So that's a password that we have just set up while you are making your local account. Choose next. It's going to take a few minutes to connect your device back to Microsoft. Choose next. And if you have a pin, just make sure to type it in. And that's it. If you go back to email and accounts, you should see your Microsoft account connected with your device. And that's great. In any case you want to confirm this, just select again your Microsoft account, select manage. It's going to take you again to your Microsoft dashboard. 
go to devices and you should find your device right here listed again and from here you can do a lot more stuff you can add more devices see whether there are any issues with your device and also you can find where your device is located and that's it that's everything about the video today and in case you like this video and you found this helpful don't forget to leave a thumbs up and don't forget to ask me any questions if you have by posting them down in the comment section don't forget to share this with your friends and of course if you're a new visitor don't forget to hit the subscribe button and the notification bell right next to it in order to receive our latest notifications for latest videos thanks for watching and as always i'm going to see you to my next video